Good morning, and welcome to the Underwood Baptist Church Daily Devotion for Wednesday, August 4th. I was traveling across West Texas this week, and for a while, I was driving behind a truck that had the phrase, earned, not given, painted on its tailgate. I assume this was in reference to the fact that the owner had worked hard and saved for the truck, and probably took a lot of pride in that. It was likely a goal they had set, and worked for, and they celebrated their success in achieving that goal and showed off a little bit of pride with painting on the back of their, with painting that on the back of their truck. As I was driving behind this person, the verses Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 came to my mind, which is our devotional verse for this morning. In Ephesians we read, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. You may have many goals in your life right now that you're working hard to accomplish. And you probably have a lot of things in your life that you work very hard for and are proud that you were able to achieve them. But the Bible tells us there's one thing in life, it's actually the most important and lasting thing in all of our existence, that we can't do anything about. We can't work towards or even earn one bit. Salvation. Salvation, these verses tells us, is a gift from God that is offered to us by grace, the free and unmerited favor of God. Our works have nothing to do with it. The work of salvation salvation was done, or was earned, if you will, by the sacrifice of God's only and perfect Son, Jesus, on the cross because of his love for us. And if you back up a few verses, you can see in verses 4 through 7, it says, But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. Salvation shows God's mercy and grace on all mankind, that he would deign to give sinners access to his righteousness by sacrificing his son. In effect, on the cross, you could say it's written earned and then freely given in Christ's blood. If you're a Christian today, remember that Christ did what Christ did to earn our salvation. He left the glory of God in heaven he was beaten and shamed for us. He took on the sins of every person who's ever existed. And then because of that sin, he was separated from the righteousness and fellowship of God for sins he, didn't, he never committed. While we can't earn our salvation, thinking about those things, think about all of that, those things that Christ went through, think about all of the love that led to it, that should make us want to try to earn it, so to speak, after the fact. Every day, by serving God and doing the things that are pleasing to him, spreading his gospel, avoiding, th avoiding sin, doing things that further his will, those are the things we should want to do. Now, if you aren't saved, then consider the fact that Christ already earned your salvation. He's paid the price, and it's just waiting for you to accept it. You may think you need to do something to make yourself better or increase your worthiness for salvation, but the truth is you're never going to be able to earn it. There's nothing you can do that can get there because you're not perfect. And no matter how much you increase your worthiness, no matter how much you incrementally get a little bit better in either how worthy you are or good you are or righteous you are, it will never be enough to attain perfection. It will never be enough to get salvation. So all that's left for you to do is trust God. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. All it takes is faith on your part. I know it sounds simple, but it really, in reality it is something difficult. You have to think about it. But all it takes is faith. God's already done the hard part. God's already done everything else. God's already done everything that was required to earn your gift. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for what you did do for our salvation. We thank you for sending your son. We thank you for, for making that sacrifice, Father. Now, I ask you to help anybody who has been trying to work 
for for their salvation or just thinks it's too hard or maybe thinks it's too simple. I, I don't know which way they might look at it, but I think that there's something separating them from accepting that gift. Father, I ask that you'd work on their hearts and you'd guide them and you'd help them understand that all it takes is faith and trust in you. Father, for those of us that are saved, I ask you to help us to remember what you did for us, to remember um, everything that you went to and remember that you know, we didn't get here on our own, but now we should be trying to do everything we can to to pay you back, so to speak, so the, to try to honor you in everything that we do because of the love you have for us and the love that we have for you, for what you've done for us, Father. We thank you and praise you for all those things. In Jesus' name, amen. I thank you for your time this morning. I hope this was a blessing. Be sure to come back tomorrow for another devotion, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.